In this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your Sunday setup in ProPresenter 7 using Themes. Not only will this speed up your setup, but it's a great way to enable volunteers in your church tech team to confidently adjust looks, knowing that the outcome is going to look great. Themes are built into ProPresenter, and we get some basic themes that are bundled in a fresh install. To see your available themes, click the theme button, which has a swatch icon in the top left of your ProPresenter interface. Story Loop is giving away three lyric packs which you can use to kickstart your themes library. We'll use these as an example to show you how to install and apply a theme. To get these, log in or create your free Story Loop account and download from the library. If you have a Story Loop subscription, you'll also have access to our other ProPresenter themes, which have looks for a whole service including announcements, preaching, countdowns and more. Before installing a new theme, we need to first make sure that our system has all of the fonts installed. If we don't install the fonts first, then our themes will revert to a default font which will mess up the look. You can find the links to download the fonts either on the product page or within the zip folder. If you have just installed new fonts while ProPresenter is open, make sure that you restart it before installing the theme. If your download comes as a pro theme file, then simply double click to install. If you have downloaded a mega pack, such as the minimal lyrics pack, then you'll need to copy the folder structure across to your ProPresenter themes folder. To find this folder, use the ProPresenter menu to select preferences and then advanced. From here, just click the folder that is linked under the support files heading and you'll be shown where your themes folder is. On a Mac, you can right click on the themes folder and choose show in finder to open this in a separate window. And this is where you would copy your pack into. Unlike fonts, it's safe to install a new theme without needing to close or restart ProPresenter. Once your theme is installed, it's time to apply the theme. Since we're using a lyrics pack for an example, we'll select a song that's being played in this week's service and we'll apply a look to the whole song using the themes menu. In the minimal lyrics pack, we have a number of font options. So we'll choose one and then select the appropriate screen that we're using. Story Loop has created looks that will apply to churches with many different screen types. For us, I'll choose the upper preset, since the bottom two thirds of our projector are obscured when the band is on platform. I'll choose the look I want and I'll apply it to the whole presentation. If you're also sending out lyrics for your live stream, then hit screen and edit looks and apply the lower thirds look to your stream output. For me, we're sending out NDI with alpha, so I'll choose the alpha preset. If you want to bring more of a dynamic look to a song, then you might choose to apply a look only to a few slides. So let's say for our verse and our build up, we want to keep our look minimal. But then when I get to the chorus, I'm going to simply select these few slides and apply a look from the energetic lyrics pack. This is a simple way to add presence and life to any chorus or bridge, or maybe the whole song if you're looking to spice things up. If you want to take things further, then you can grab one of our bigger themes from the Story Loop library, which are available with a subscription. Let's take a look at applying a theme to our whole service using the Topo Forms pack. First, I'll make sure that our font is installed and to make things easier, I'll make a media playlist for the motion backgrounds and for the stills. I'll drag them in from my file browser so that they're ready to go whenever I need them. I'll start by creating a welcome slide and creating two text boxes with the language that we use at our church. I'll make sure to name the text boxes to match the name of the text boxes in the theme. This is how we make sure that each text box receives the correct styling. For my welcome screen, I just want a static background that's not too distracting. So I'll select from the regular Topo Forms theme. Simply right click the slide and apply the theme using the dropout menus. For my countdown screen, I'll create a text box that is linked to my timer. This countdown though, I want to have movement. So I'll pick up its theme from the transparent variant of the theme. Then I'll drag and drop a motion that I'd like to apply as the background. When it comes to the rest of the service, we apply the same logic for creating preaching slides or any other type of slide that you might need. Just make sure that you're naming the text boxes correctly so that they can inherit the correct styling. If you're not sure of the text box naming convention to use, simply edit the theme and have a peek at what we've created. So don't be shy, have a play around with some themes for your next service and watch how you can quickly and easily bring a visual cohesiveness to any service with ProPresenter themes.